Well, tonight, a 12 News I team exclusive interview with one Valley woman who says her doctor, a neurologist treating her painful nerve disorder, pressured her to have sex in exchange for treatment. I feel like he took advantage of my vulnerability as a person who really wanted help. I team reporter Bianca Bona joining us live right here in the studio. Bianca, what does the doctor say happened? Well, the doctor has denied all of the allegations made against this woman who was a former patient of his. He wouldn't speak to us for this story, but we did get a chance to get a statement from his lawyer who again denied the allegations. The Phoenix Police Department has been notified about this case. They're investigating, but the doctor hasn't been charged yet. I do want to point out, though, at the time that this allegedly happened, he was working at Banner. He has since been fired and the American the Arizona Medical Board has also suspended his license. We want to show you a little bit more about what this woman actually had to say about what allegedly happened to her. He said, do you want me to help you? I can help you. He made it kind of clear that when he had touched me the first time in the office that if I said anything that that it would stop like he wouldn't help me no more. All right, what role does the medical board play in all of this, though? So, as I mentioned, the Arizona Medical Board is the one who's actually suspended this doctor's medical license pending an internal review. But in general, the medical board tries to be really transparent. So their website is a great resource for patients all across the state who want to just know more about their doctors. You could type in their name, and in reality, the majority of the doctors in Arizona are doing a fantastic job. But it's there on that website you could find out if there are any disciplinary actions that have been taken against a doctor in the past. All right, Bianca Bona joining us live. Looking really forward to that story. You're looking into other cases. And tonight, if you want to share any of your stories or you have a tip and something that you want to share with the I-Team, all you have to do is email us and the, the address is iteam at 12news.com. Still to come.